Oh boy, this is different. I'm live streaming outside tonight and I actually have connection. At least I think we have connection. We're gonna find out here in a moment. If everybody says I'm lagging, then I'm lagging. We got three people in the chat so far. At least that's what I can see. Oh boy. Looks like Daddy starts walking down to us. <laughs> we uh, had a little impromptu trip with some family members right now. So we're up at my uncle's house right now for the evening. And we're just kind of hanging out here. Everyone's around the fire right now, but I did not have enough content filmed yesterday to have a video out for tonight. So I guess we're going to have a little live stream here in place. I don't I see you yet, Cole. You're, you're right there. No, but on the, my phone. Oh, I don't know. Hi, everybody. You want to tell them the big news? What you just got done doing? <sighs> I got on Cole's motorcycle, and as soon as I took off, I started popping wheelies. <laughs> it brought back a lot of memories. <laughs> First thing he does when he takes off. How long has it been since you've done a wheelie? Oh, it's been quite a few years. 30 years? Oh, uh, probably. <laughs> First thing he does, like 10 feet in, just pops a wheelie. <laughs> it was fun, it was fun. What do you guys think of Dad's sweatshirt? It's nice and bright. glow in the dark. Yeah, he doesn't need a flashlight anywhere that he goes. Man, we had some ice cream a little bit ago, and I am thirsty. I'm sitting in the woodshed right now. This is my uncle's property. He's got a little wood burner behind us. Hey, you're playing my stream at hey, the same hey, time. Hey, I can hey. hear my voice in an echo. If no one's ever done that before, that is really difficult to do. Like trying to talk and organize your thoughts while you're listening to your voice, what you said five seconds ago. Oh, by the way, there's 1,200 people watching. And two little thumbs up button. Oh. Had to grab a seat. <laughs> Block of wood. <laughs> All right, I'm relaxing now. R in four vets. Thank you for the donation. That's very nice of you. So, what do you want to talk about tonight, Dad? Oh boy, I don't know. It was just, I guess, for us, we just kind of stepped away today, like Cole said, to be with family and friends and stuff. It just kind of felt nice to step away from the farm for a little bit. So, our friends are back home at our house, probably watching us right now. So, it's kind of nice, as you guys know, when you're working hard, which Everybody does, but that one way over there in the back corner. Uh, sometimes it's just nice to step away and relax and kind of have fun. So I know Cole did some videos today of some of the goofy stuff we did, and it's kind of fun sharing it with you. Yeah, I'm also sitting on a log right now. We went exploring in the woods today. We went to the Mississippi River in McGregor, Iowa, and we went to Pikes Peak State Park. And while we were there, they have all these intricate trails right along the edge of the Mississippi. And they have this big old, like, I don't know, trail system. Made, like It's like a big deck, but miles long. And we got kind of veering off that on the really steep stuff and then ended up down in the bottom of some, like, little streams. And then we ended up climbing out of one. It was really fun, but it took us probably a good hour to get out of there. Yeah. We got way down in there. It was pretty cool. A couple people ask you how your Vegas trip was, Cole. Oh, my Vegas trip was good. I did not get married in Vegas, though. It was hot there. And everyone always says that, oh, it's dry heat. It's not that bad. And I was, I was always under that impersonation, too. I don't know. 115 degrees is pretty hot. Merchandise is coming soon. I see there's few people asking about merchandise. It is getting very, very close, guys. We apologize for that. Yeah, we're kind of hoping for next week. We're basically just finishing up on getting some prints made and stuff. Stuff is in production right now, so basically once they have inventory of things, then we'll be able to get stuff out there for you guys. So if you want some Cornstar merch, just be patient just a little bit longer. It's coming real soon. It has been a long time, though. Oh, man, we had that ice cream earlier, and I am thirsty again. I drank like three waters while we were at Dairy Queen. <laughs> I could probably drink three more. I'm trying to think. Uh... What should we talk about, guys? We're always the ones sitting here talking about a bunch of stuff. I want to hear what you guys want to hear about because you know, we kind of talk about the same stuff a lot. Or at least I feel that way. 
the 40 10 John Deere tractor. Somebody asked where that went. We did sell it to a guy that I think he's going to restore it back. So we're hoping maybe he'll do some videos on it and send it to us so we can kind of show you what he's kind of doing. Mm -hmm. And he also has the Model D and the... Uh, 630 John Deere. And the 730, doesn't he? Yeah. You're right. You're right. So he bought... He has all of our John Deere tractors. <laughs> our old ones. Well, not our 4840. Right. We still kept that one. I believe we will have shirts in the large sizes too, guys. So... People who are a lot bigger than me should have a shirt available. Gavin says hi to DC. Hi to you, buddy. Thank you. Why do we yell when we talk? Because the only people that ask that tell us that we yell, you guys got good hearing. The rest of them don't, <laughs> and they can't hear us, so we shout so they can. So we apologize. I think a lot of it is, you know, a lot of times when we're outside working, we're around machinery and stuff. So we probably kind of yell more at each other. Uh, and I don't necessarily think it's that we're yelling. We're just talking loudly so that way everyone can understand what we're saying. Because when we have equipment and stuff running in the background, if I'm just talking like this, talking, you know, kind of quiet, you're not going to be able to understand what I'm saying. And part of it is we're excited. But I know for me, you know, years ago, the equipment wasn't very good for our phones and stuff to pick up. You did have to yell, but like your new cameras and stuff, I know we really don't have to yell. So we... Don't mean you that. might not have to. Your voice travels a lot better than mine. Mine doesn't travel very far. But yeah, this person says it's the raised voice of enthusiasm, not yelling. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to lose you tonight. Somebody said so we don't know they could, I could be seen in this sweatshirt, but have you ever seen when you're going down the road, like there's this little man standing out in the road with his hand out, and it says, like, slow down. It's a little neon sign man. That's me. Yeah, they made the model after Dad. <laughs> we're not going to have a super long live stream tonight, guys. We'll probably go around 30 minutes or so. That way we can get up to our family. We have food on the fire right now. We're making hobo meals. If you don't know what a hobo meal is, you take tin foil, you fill it full of a bunch of meat and vegetables and potatoes and throw it on the fire. And Thank you, guys. Somebody says uh, they liked it when Summer and me hijacked your videos while you were gone. We actually had a lot, a lot of fun doing that. So thank you for all the really nice comments. It uh, was very special for us. And no, oh, you're making me yawn, Dad. Uh, he'll fall asleep, and then we can talk. But uh, <laughs> it was nice. We had a lot of fun, and you, you, it was nice having Cole and Ava go have fun. But it was really nice seeing them come back too. Is it a lot different making YouTube videos when it's just you by yourself? It is. It's it's harder because. You know, when we're all together, sometimes Cole's doing some video, and I'm doing some video, Cooper's doing some video, maybe Mama Corn Star, Summer, Neva. We got, I shouldn't say we, Cole's got a bunch of stuff to pick out, but when it was just me and Summer, you know, trying to, and there was a couple days there, I probably didn't do a whole lot, so it was kind of nice when Summer came over. You know, it was a little break for me, too, on the farm while they were gone. Uh, so, yeah, it was a little harder. Especially when you sleep till 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then... It's hard to get footage of getting work done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, let's see. Why don't we have livestock, Dad? I don't know. Years and years ago we did, and then the hog market fell out. And a lot of our buildings were older buildings. So back years ago, the hogs were a lot tougher, but now they want them more lean and stuff. So for us, it was just hard to get the body fat on them to keep them warm in the old buildings. And then when the market crashed down to eight cents a pound, we just decided let's walk away from that. We had the cemetery business we were doing. To put it into perspective, what was normal price compared to eight cents a pound? Ooh, we were making in that 50 to 75 cents a pound. So, you know, when you were used to making 250 to 275 dollars a pig, and then all at once you were getting 80 dollars and you were losing 40 to $50 a head, it, it really hurt. You know, that doesn't really sound horrible if you have four or five pigs, but you take four or 5,000 pigs losing that much money, it adds up really quick. Really, really quickly. A&K Farm, so it looks like we found a really good internet place. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting outside right now, look at this. I have a phone charger plugged into this pole, <laughs> and it runs a, a light up here, a floodlight and a security camera. I've seen some of the stuff at 
Cole's house. My dad was in the Coast Guard when he graduated from high school for four years. So one of his jobs was going out years ago when the old lighthouses, that's why there used to be a lot of lighthouses at Cole. Uh, my dad's job was sometimes he slept in lighthouses just to make sure that light kept flashing all night long. Him and another guy would stay up there, watch TV till three in the morning. TV went out. One of them would go to sleep, and that one would watch the, so. Yeah, Grandpa said, if you want to get lazy real quick, do that job for a couple months. We'd have a pool table yeah. and a TV that would kick out at 2 a.m., and then just him and a buddy. Yep. Yeah. It was, he said it got <laughs> pretty boring pretty quick. They had cards. Yeah. A lot of cards. But yeah, if you want to get lazy <laughs> or a job that you don't want to work too hard. But nowadays, everything's, uh, I don't know what you call it, solar or, uh, you don't have to do that job anymore. Now see if you... What was the first job you learned how to do on the farm? Ooh. I think for me, I actually drove one of my friends' tractors before I drove any of our tractors. I was at a friend's house and his dad came in and he was like, hey, I'm gonna need you boys to run the grain cart tomorrow. And so we were like seven, I think. Yeah, you're pretty young. And uh, he put us in the grain cart. It was a John Deere tractor. I don't know what size. It was probably like a 2005. It was a pretty new tractor at the time. It might have been a brand new tractor at the time. And put us in there. We didn't understand the shifting at all. Or we, He told us to this was the throttle and this was to go faster. So that's what we did. And <laughs> we didn't unload it onto the semis, though. But then I learned there, and then I came back like that weekend and helped Dad. And then I was like, hey, I can drive that. So then I drove grain cart. Yeah, that's... I was just reading, somebody here said they got their first job at McDonald's, and I like McDonald's, when I come in, if you're waiting on me, you know, if I order four hamburgers, I actually ordered one. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Go on a little trip here, just relaxing, and I'm tired, but when I work all day, I'm fine. <laughs> somebody said they like old stories, so thank you on that. Sometimes we blabber on about things, but uh, we sure have a good time. Sorry, I interrupted you. What was the first piece of equipment you ran? I think my first piece would have been an old Oliver tractor or an old John Deere 630, but I think it was the old Oliver tractor. It had a cab on it, and my dad put on, it was like a 14-foot disc, and he put me on a big field and just kind of gave me the here you go, and I thought I was... 14-foot disc. Yeah, yeah. Our lawnmower is almost that big now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Didn't Grandpa take like two 12-foot discs and put them together? He did, to make a 26-foot disc. And... Wow. Someone asked about a uh, Farmall Super MTA that they saw in one of our videos. That is not actually ours. That's a landlord of ours. We were in one of his buildings, and so some of you guys have really good eyes because we'll pass by something for a quarter of a second in a building and you guys will be like, what was that way back there at two minutes and 47 seconds? And I'm like, I don't even know what piece of equipment you're talking about. And then I have to go back and look. Like, How did you see that? I do like that though when you put the minutes because I've done that too. It's like, I don't know what, you know, remember. And then I go back and I'm like, holy cow. So yeah, you, uh, you guys have eyes like hawks. You ever think about growing popcorn, dad? By the way, Ryan, I'm going to butcher your last name, Vas Canellos. Thank you for the donation. And he asked if we ever grow popcorn. We, I haven't. I know, well, we did. When I was a little boy, I remember we grew some and popped it. Because when I was little, we had popcorn almost every night. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but we did. And now... I know there's a premium on popcorn, but yeah, we've never... Yeah. yeah. We How many a... people do we have watching right now, Dad? Oh, God. How do you know? Uh, it says that number right there. 1.3 million people. No, 3.1 thousand. Oh, it's close. How many thumbs up do we have? 1,300. Now that number seems a little off to me. I think we should have uh, 3,100 likes to 3,100 viewers. Sounds pretty fair to me. <laughs> Somebody asked where Mama Cornstar is. She's probably out cooking our food. We made a, uh, we took tin foil, put a little spam on it, and then we threw hamburger in there, potatoes that are all cut up, onions. What if nobody tends to our stuff while we're down here and then we come up and our food's burned? We'll recook. I suppose. We can always go into town and get food if we have to. <laughs> More fun talking to you guys than cooking. 
<laughs> when do you think you will have kids? I've already had three kids, so I don't think I'll have any more. So do you, uh, do you enjoy riding the motorcycle? I had a blast. I mean, uh, yeah. It was kind of the excitement of the day. It just brought back a lot of memories. And when I was younger, I liked my front wheel off the ground more than I liked on the ground. So, I don't know. We all kind of got things that we like to do that we probably shouldn't do, and that was one of them. It was funny looking back. I was riding in the van with Mama Cornstar, and you just see Dad turn a corner, and all of a sudden, front wheel will be off the ground. He'd be popping a wheelie. Yeah, you've never ridden that bike. That's a mystery bike. Yeah, that, that was my first time riding it, so. A bit different than what you had in the past, wasn't it? Yeah. It's comfortable, though, isn't it? Yeah. I yeah. figured if I got pulled over by a cop, I was going to say the bike had hiccups. Yeah. No, at first you look at it and you think it's you sit on it. It's, it's really comfortable. Really fine. I had a couple people ask, thank you about sharing the stories about my dad and stuff. Uh, Bobby, Robert, thank you for donation. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you my off. My dad was really close to me and I was really close to him. So sometimes I, it's just fun kind of sharing stories and stories that maybe kind of help you and your dad or dad get close to your sons and daughters and even wife. So that's sometimes why I tell some of the stories that we are just as human as you guys. And I didn't know if you guys know this or not, but Daddy Cornstar is a little bit of a storyteller and he likes to talk and he usually doesn't run out of things to talk about. <laughs> Somebody asked where they can get the hoodie that Daddy Cornstar has. I don't remember where I got it. I think Mama Cornstar or Summer got it for me on it's a... It's been a long yeah. time ago. You yeah. probably had that thing 15 years. It's been a long, long time. Yeah. It's... Um... What was I just gonna ask? Oh. Do we ever go camping? Yes, we do go camping. We like camping. Uh, that The one camper you see in our yard sometimes in some of the videos, that is the camper we usually take with us. Yeah, hey, you're gonna have to get a motorcycle now. I just ride yours. What if I'm riding? You just get another one. <laughs> Where at Massachusetts does uh, your mom and the family live? Uh, Boston, uh, what is it, uh, Way Weymouth, uh, I can't think, say the word right, uh, Weymouth? Yeah, Humber Rock or something like that's where the cabin yeah, was. Yeah, it was real close, but we did have a relative who had a private cottage on Humber Rock Beach, so we got to stay there, that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hey, Weymouth. Yeah, you, yeah. You're, you might be right. I am. <laughs> we have not got any rain yet. It was, last rain was early July was our really good rain, but a week ago or so we did pick up like a half inch at my place, but then you went down the road like a half mile, mile. There wasn't hardly anything, so it might have just hit my rain gauge and not really, so it wasn't a very good rain. So out of me, and Cooper, who acts more like Grandpa Cornstar, would you say? You know, it's funny because Cole has a lot of Grandpa wanting to be in the office doing book working and stuff, because Grandpa loved doing that stuff. That would be Cole following Grandpa, and then Cooper likes making stuff and welding stuff like Grandpa. So I see so much in both. Person? I know on camera you might not see that because you know I'm explaining a lot of things all the time and you know we're constantly talking so it seems like all we do is talk but like when I'm on my own I'm actually pretty kept to myself. Grandpa Cornstar was a lot like that. Yeah Grandpa was like that a lot. We'd too. go on a car ride somewhere let's say it was an hour long car ride we might have a 15 second conversation the whole time and then it's just quiet. <laughs> you might ask my dad something or kind of talk about something he might not say anything and maybe three days later he goes yeah, I think we can do that. And you'll be like, do what? And then he'll tell you, and I'm like, I asked that question three days ago. So, yeah, I see a lot of that in Cole. So it is. It's kind of neat seeing both. We have someone in Belize watching. I wonder what part of Belize you're from. I've been to Spanish Lookout in Belize. So if you know where that's at, you should let me know. <laughs> I had a kid here. This is a pretty neat question. He says, seriously, question. 
he said, my dream is to work on a farm and I'm 15 years old. And when I'm older, what do you think I should do with my life? Can I work on a farm? Yes, you can. Uh, follow your dream. Beautiful. You can do whatever you want. You're all capable of anything, really. I mean, kind of put your word out there too, because there's sometimes older fellows that don't have boys or daughters or anything that want to farm. I got a friend that got onto a really nice farm and the guy took him in like his son and uh, there's opportunity. So do keep your eyes open. Uh, don't give up. I, I, yeah. You ever had cosmetic surgery before? No, someone just asked. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> ever had blue tractors on the farm before? We did. We used to have a, well, no, well. It wasn't really blue. It, it was blue, but it was kind of my uncle's. It was a 801 or something like that, mm. or 8,000 8, or something. It set up really high. I suppose it was maybe a 100 horse tractor, roughly, 105. Uh, we ran that around there for a while. That was the only blue tractor I can ever think of. Oh, that guy asked if he could work on our farm. He oh. said he wants to work on a farm, but he wants to work on our farm. I don't know. Where's he from? <laughs> See, when it comes to hiring someone to work on the farm, it's very difficult for us, and we have to be extremely picky when it comes to that. To have someone go out and run a piece of equipment, and we want someone who's going to do a really good job, and oftentimes, they tell you everything you want to hear, they seem like the perfect candidate, and then they get out there, and I don't know, they just don't seem to perform. But you know, as neat as he wrote that question, I know he'd be a really good worker. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just reading that, uh, and I don't know if you live close to us or anything like that, but uh, it'd be kind of fun to have you around. And we get literally hundreds of people every day asking if they can work on the farm. And as much as we would like help from everybody, it's just not possible. Oh boy, I missed out on a bunch of comments here. Somebody asked why we don't have livestock. Years ago we did, but like I said, our buildings and stuff were getting a lot older. We had a chance to take over the cemetery business and we had some other opportunities come open so we just kind of walked away from the livestock my hat does go off to people that have livestock of any kind it takes a lot of your time you are basically married to your livestock I mean it, it's just something you have to do and about the time you want to go some well, somewhere Murphy's Law you got a sick cow a sick pig something it's it it's year round. It's so. one of those jobs you can work 5,000 hours a year and still lose $200,000 at the end of it. That's not fun. People, a lot of people lately have been asking me what music I use for my time lapses in the videos. I go to the YouTube Audio Studio. It's free and I just search through all those on there. So that's where I find all the music for my videos. I don't have anything too special. What do you think about getting a demo saw to cut up the scrap instead of the torch? I've read a lot of comments comments on that. I think it'd be pretty smart. I, I would like to get one. I'd like to look into it a little more. My only concern with the demo saw is, like, I know what it's like running a grinder, and I know demo, demo saw would be bigger, but I've also had a grinder catch on me before on metal. Would a demo saw do the same thing? That's a lot bigger piece of blade coming at me. Yeah. Uh. That's my only concern. But I think for cutting up thinner stuff, I'd be A-OK -okay with that. Need to look into it. slow. But there are applications where you do have to use the torch. Unfortunately. Yeah, somebody asked we should do more videos on the YouTubes on the uh, welding and stuff. So, yeah, we need well, Cooper will be more welding here pretty soon. We're kind of in that little gap right now between spring work and field work. Hopefully this next week we're going to start getting more stuff out, mm -hmm. set up, and be doing some Technically, more. Technically this is like our off-season time of the year, so I mean, like that's why we can just kind of pack up and go like tonight. Just come out here, you know, it's not like we have to go you know, feed the cows or water the pigs or, you know, go spray a field. Like we're just kind of waiting right now. So this is where we have our little vacation area. We don't really take weekends off for the most part. I mean... Sundays we try not to work on but I like this person don't laugh DC you look amazing we are the same age. but thank you thank you very much yeah doing uh, some camera tricks right now 
Hey, we had a golf cart going around back there. This looks like Summer, Natalie, and Nava. I have got some in the last short while here. I've got a bunch of uh, Heinz Ketchup t-shirts in the mail from you guys, a whole bunch of different types. So I'm gonna start wearing them so I can kind of show you the different ones I've been getting. Here we got some people coming. Hi. Summer, why aren't you making a corn star cookbook? Well, I don't know if I'd have much to contribute. But maybe someday. Was that a question? Yeah. Throw us some questions. Throw us some questions, people. Summer, is that a wood furnace behind coal? Yes. A wood burner. Why don't we have John Deere's? Because you don't like green. We look better in red. <laughs> How much is one bushel? Good answer. What color of equipment do you guys like? We like, I like blue. If you won the lottery, would you continue farming? Yes. Yeah. Do you ever look into tire pressure systems for soil compaction? No. no Where's Cooper been? He's, we're, we're camping. Playing a game with Jay. <laughs> Look how three tiers name called. Do you ever actually have to hose down the crops? Somebody said, Nate loves you, Cole. I do love him. Wow, I love How him. How did you guys know? How far away are you from Washington, Iowa? Um, maybe three-ish. Cole, will you do a meet and greet? Cole, oh, will you do a meet and greet? Uh, probably not. I don't know. Not long. Why doesn't Daddy Cornstar have his own channel? Who's gonna edit? <laughs> Has there ever been a tornado at the farm? 1976, there was a tornado that took half of Cole's roof off his house. You were inside, weren't you? Yep, I was inside looking out the window, and the tornado sucked the door off in the room. I thought somebody was trying to pull me out the door, and I was running as fast as I could to get out of there. I honestly thought somebody broke in the door and had me by my shirt. But uh, once I got out of there, I found out it was a tornado. So it was kind of scary. I was a little boy, and I hurt my back through it. Really? Yeah, sore. I mean, it kind of mm. threw me up against the wall. So, yeah. If I'm going to be on this live, oh, I am going to plug myself. I have a YouTube channel. Too. Okay, we're back to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Summer. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's on you. No, now it's on you. Some good stuff. S U M. Good stuff. Check it out. Where, we're ready for the where are your pit vipers? Guys, be asking questions. How many acres do we farm? 2,000. What is the craziest thing that's ever happened on the farm? It, it exploded on me. Who's the best fisherman in the family? Cool. How many feet are in a rod? What? How many feet are in a rod? Three. Ford, Dodge, or Chevy? Ford. What's your favorite diesel engine? Diesel. <laughs> Were you ever in 4-H? What in what engines in the red dump truck? The good kind. DC, is it chilly up there? It's starting to cool down just a little bit. Yeah, it feels nice. How are your guys' crops looking over there? Healthy. You got to talk louder. They said. Oh. Healthy. <laughs> I suppose. Or drive your four wheeler closer. Ooh, I just fell in a hole. When are you going to dig Nava a pool? Yeah. Were you ever an FFA kid? Oh, I have low iron. Someone said summer awesome Ariat boot commercial that mean you made. Thank you. I try my best for coal. Summer, when are you going to turn your barn into a she shed? She shed? Um, probably not Never. at this house. Is that the opposite of me? Why isn't Natalie around anymore? <laughs> How many corn plants do you have? Have you ever seen a tornado? Yes. No. I have. Natalie's been doing a lot of work lately. She has a job too, so that's why she hasn't been out a whole lot. Would you ever sell the farm and move to the city? No. Heck no. No, no. We 
could cry. I'd rather move to the bottom. Are the corn and beans for human consumption? Yes, but not in their current form. Some of it is. How much blinker fluid goes in your car? This one's for Neva. What? How much blinker fluid goes in your car? None! None! Natalie? What's your favorite tractor? Neva. Uh, the red one. Summer. I like little ones. Neva. Natalie. What's my favorite tractor? Yeah. The new one. The case. Yeah. What's your favorite tractor? Well, I probably would guess the Case 340, but I really haven't drove it hardly any. But uh, I do like the 7140 Case, and I do really like the little John Deere uh, 4840 for the little things I do with it. Somebody asked, are we ever going to do a meet and greet? So hopefully someday we will have some kind of, you know, we were hoping maybe like the Farm Progress Show or something like that someday they'd invite us to it to meet you guys. So maybe some company will take us on someday where we can do something like that. But it'd be fun. Are you wearing Ariat boots? Anybody? No. no. I am. I'm getting some new ones ordered, though. Because I get 10% off. Does Mama Cornstar ride a bike? Yeah, she does. She rode mine, my dirt bike. That's true, that's true. Are there any bugs out here? Yeah, yeah. Whose house are we at? Your uncle's house. How fast does that golf cart go? 13 miles, 13 miles. miles. Why don't you sell the old case? I don't know, I don't mind to sell. Cooper likes it for, if that's the one that makes the hay and that kind of stuff, he, he likes it. He loves that little tractor. How old is Anna? 13? 14? 13, I think. They want to know where you got your awesome corn outfit, Summer. <laughs> Let me tell you guys where I got my corn outfit. I sewed it myself. No, I got it off Amazon. <laughs> Who's your favorite child? Cooper. 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 Most definitely Cooper. <laughs> I, I don't listen to him, guys. Uh -huh. They're all my favorite. Don't you guys get me in trouble here. But Cooper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cooper has always been kind of my sidekick, I guess. So uh, I'm not saying he's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's an awkward situation. Yeah. <laughs> but the one that asked my, that question, you are my favorite viewer. <laughs> Do cows drink milk, Neva? No. They drink it too. They drink it when they're little. That's not a cow, don't we? What? Natalie. Little cows don't have cows. Natalie, what's the gray cat's name? Can I say it? Yeah. Zach. Oh, that's an interesting name. Is Cooper going to shave his mullet? I see Mama Cornstar coming. With Anna. Come say hi, Mama Cornstar. What an entrance. <laughs> Do you like Hank Williams Jr.? Yes. Yeah. Name one of his songs. All my brownies sang it coming over Ooh, tonight. Just <laughs> one that All right, Mama Cornstar, you got to get behind the camera here. And you can talk to people. Can I read what they say? I didn't bring my glasses. Hold on, I got it pointed at me. Mama Cornstar is right, right, right here. Everybody say hi to Mama Cornstar. Hi, hey, Mama hey. Cornstar. Hi, Mama Cornstar. All right, it's pointed at them. Okay. It's, it's gonna move fast. My food is cooking. Hey, what do we got going on here? Causing trouble. The cops are here. Anna, what are you scared of? Hmm? What are you scared of? <laughs> I can't even hear it. What are you talking about? You <laughs> want to sit with the girl? Yeah, I got hiccups. Sit with the girl? Man, they're having too much fun running that siren right now. I tell you what.
What do you guys think? You're funny? <laughs> That's not what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> that is fun. That's the kids' aunt. And she likes to make sure she's seen when she comes in. Yeah, there you go. Make an entrance. She's a lot of fun, too. You could pull the Camaro out and you could do some donuts in the yard. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Cooper, you got any words of wisdom today? Seen Dad pull his first wheelie on a motorcycle. Oh my gosh, guys, it was so cool. So Mind yeah, blown. He's cool. That was cool. <laughs> we saw a few wheelies. He guys, it's so funny because he hadn't been on it for like how many years, Cole? I don't know, ask him. Yeah, 65 I mean, years? It's been a while. How many how many years has it been since you've been on a motorcycle? I don't know. Do you know when was the first time? Long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, but one you can pull a wheelie on, that's different. She said two days because he's been on my dirt bike. But anyways, I think it's been several years. And he got on that and in less than two seconds he was popping wheelies. Like, what? As soon as I took off from the road, I had to get Literally, the Literally, he took off from the road, like, onto the road, and then he popped a wheelie. We were all like, you're exactly. kidding. Like, that's awesome. I was so excited for you. It was, it was just, it was there. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. We were all cheering you on, too. We were all scaring. We were like, he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And then you wouldn't do it, and then you would do it, and we'd be like, man, we missed it. Uh, it was funny. A lot of people uh, lately also have been asking about Grandma Cornstar. We never talk about oh, Grandma yeah. Cornstar. Grandma Cornstar called last night and she goes, I read comments. Where's Grandma Cornstar? Do you have a Grandma Cornstar? So I was teasing her. I was going to show like a... I was, well, anyhow, she is alive and she's doing well. Huh? Oh my her birthday. God. It was Grandma's birthday yesterday too. And they live about... 20 minutes from us. They do come out at times. Last fall, you guys might remember her husband as Grandpa John. He came out and drove the semis and stuff. Super great guy. So, Grandma actually reads all your guys' comments too. She loves every one of them. So, uh, thank you guys for asking. It'll make Grandma feel really good. We need to get her out on some videos too. It'd really make her feel special. She reads every one of your comments like i'm not even kidding doesn't miss one a video could have been posted two months ago and she goes back every day to look at all the new comments on everything <laughs> so she's not missed a single one somebody asked if we ever see any ufo circles or anything in any cornfields i have not i have not there say there's a what is it what's the animal that's running around our area uh mountain lion? mountain lion they say there's a mountain lion around our area my dad did see it once Chasing a deer. I have never seen it, but other neighbors have seen it. Some of our neighbors with uh, cameras out in the woods and stuff got pictures of it. Ours have never picked up anything on it yet, but that's kind of the only thing running around our area. Okay, let's see what else we got here. We're getting to 40 minutes on the live stream. You want to call that good? That way we can get back to everyone yeah. else in the family. And we're going to be getting some more videos out. Like we said, we were kind of doing some family days for a little bit. just so. Yesterday was a complete run around day with me packing and trying to get a whole bunch of logistical stuff together. So I got absolutely zero content filmed. I didn't feel that it was right for me to produce nothing for you guys since I said I was going to be doing six videos a week. So we're getting there done. This, this counts as a video. Kind of. But there will be one tomorrow. <laughs> and do, you know, when you're watching videos, if there's stuff that you kind of want to know more about or see or whatever, we that's why we read the comments to kind of learn what you people like. Cause... You got anything you want to say, Jill? See ya. <laughs> she, she's like Daddy Cornstar. She kind of like speed when her foot hits the floor on the vehicle. Boom, she's gone. Up to the speed limit, I mean. Yeah. All right. With that being said, uh, we'll have a video out tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.